Hey everybody, Big Daddy Biggs, West Louisiana Bee Farm. Uh, I am burning up out here in the bee yard today. And yeah, I know it hadn't really got hot yet. But uh, a lot of y'all been asking some questions about the uh, about the Comfort Hive conversions. I'm going to show you one of them. And we're going to look at some other bees today. But the main point, I want to show you what's going on. In one... <clears throat> so here's, here's one with the conversion. And I'm just going to kind of peel this back a little bit. I'm not going to get too crazy with it. But I want you to see what's going on inside there. Uh, as you can see, I'm trying to do this slow and without one-handed and without pulling these bars loose. As you can see, they're building comb up. This one, they're building it down. And I know you're probably looking at that thinking, oh, that's going to be a mess. And uh, you're right. It will be a mess, but it's not going to be that big of a deal to clean up. And when they get this box, the top of this box full, I'll look at it again next week. We got a honey flow going on right now. And uh, I'll look at it next weekend. Hopefully, I'll be able to get out here and look at it next weekend. And then we'll probably go ahead and transfer these out. They should have pollen, honey, and might even swipe the queen. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, that's kind of the update on the Comfort Hive conversion. Let me back up away from here so you can kind of see what, which one I'm talking about. And now we're going to go on and look at some more stuff. Okay, one thing you got to be careful of if you're going to do these uh, top bar hives. And I don't care if they're Kenyan. Kenyan probably don't have as bad of a problem. Well, i got to move this smoke. Kenyan top bars probably don't have as bad of a problem. But these, uh, these straight side boxes that have no angle to them they like to expand and close up and expand and close up in the changing of the seasons and that is a problem if you don't cut your bars just right or I think what I'm gonna do from now on is not put a lip in here for the bars I had a reason for doing that but I think my reason is is I'm past it so I'm probably just going to cut my bars to where they rest on the top, and this isn't going to be a problem. But if you do make it to where they rest on the inside like this, that's going to be a problem. So I'm going to have to clean that up and uh, get it fixed. I'll, I'll show you a few videos while I'm in here, though, maybe. We'll see. Now let me just see if I can stick my hand in here. I'm going to have to get another one out. They are they are actually building right now. You know they're they're expanding the hive, so we definitely have a, a high, uh, sorry a flow going. Oh yeah, yeah. They see how they make a mess. Oh gone it. I had to clean that up too. Did you see how this one just barely? Let's see, it just barely sits on there. And I probably didn't put it in right. I needed to kind of split the difference between the two ends. So I'll have to be a little more careful about that as long as I'm working these types of hives. So we're just going to scrape this off. Let it lay on the bottom. And because I know they've already got some flower juice in there. I'm just going to let it lay on the bottom. And uh, let's take a look at some stuff. Let's see what we got going on here. I think that's better. I see some flower juice, but I don't see any any eggs in that. I just absolutely love the comb that they make with these types of hives. And they're so inexpensive to make. Bees are free. If you know what you're doing, I can teach you. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to go check a few swarm traps today. And maybe we'll have some bees in them. I'll make a video, or I'll just add that to the end of this video. We'll see. 
see if we can take another one out. This one looks like it's a fairly full comb. When you're when you're prying these out, you got to kind of feel for whether or not it, it, it frees up pretty good because uh, you may have to cut down the sides. This doesn't need it, so I'm not going to do it right now. I'll, I'll do that on a later video. But really, all you do is you just take your uh, your your hive tool, or the best thing to use on these kind of hives is really a, a long butter knife. Get the longest one you can find, like a 12-inch butter knife, and just slide it down the edge here in between the, uh, the comb and the side of the hive. Be careful not to squish any of the girls. And you'll have to do that on on both ends and uh, that'll free it up and you won't you won't rip the comb and spill your honey and kill your bees and possibly crush your queen in the process if you do that you can just pry it out on both ends sorry folks I'm not a great videographer and it's really hard to be both a beekeeper and a videographer at the same time. Ask anybody on YouTube doing this. They'll tell you. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Awesomeness. Isn't that fabulous? And it's pretty heavy. It's mostly brood, but there's some honey in it. I don't see the queen anywhere, but... I don't have my skepticals on either. I don't know that I could see her if she was on it. Okay, we're gonna put it back. Just gotta be careful going back in with it. And let's see how many how many bars we've got. We would have more if the one hadn't dropped out, but so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six that are full and three that are being built. Let's go to the next one. All right, here's the next one. This is my favorite hive. My favorite collar, man. Again, you'll have to forgive me for the sun's bright. I can't even see the screen on the phone. That's always seems to be a problem. I wonder why they skipped to make that one. They skipped a space. Or two. So they skip two. Ah, there they are festooning. See them all just kind of hanging out, making some more space. They add in rooms. And they are doing their thing. Look at that one. You see them just doing their little waggle dances? Check her out. Just a dance. They all dancing every now and then. If you're watching this and you don't know what the waggle dance is, I suggest you Google it. I'll go ahead and give you a little brief rundown, but uh, that there's a particular way that they dance, and they're communicating with the other bees, telling them exactly 
within a few feet from what I understand I'm no scientist but they're telling the other bees exactly where there's nectar and pollen and whatever resources the hive is in need of I got a few more of these I got to look at I see anything interesting I'll share it with you and then I'm probably gonna go check the swarm traps and maybe you'll get some footage of that too all right my phone battery is dying so this is going to be the last peep inside of the hive I'll just keep recording until the uh, until it looks like the video is going out or the phone's going out I want to tell you a little bit about this colony right here after Hurricane Laura this year came outside and the roof was off of this one it's the only one I really lost I didn't lose anything but the roof it's the only thing I lost only hive I lost anything off of that I can remember and it had been pouring down rain into this hive just like this and you know this colony survived kind of crazy let's smoke them up let's pull out a frame or two before this battery dies and you see how I've got frames and bars this is the reason why I made some recessed uh, bar holders so that my frames would go down in there and then they're gonna build on to the uh, the bars and then I'll eventually phase out the frames out of these colonies but I don't think I need to make any more of them in this style because I can see where they're they're gonna be a problem and I don't really need I don't really need them like that anymore Let's see if we can spot the queen somewhere She's not on here. I'll turn it around after I turn the camera off right now. I can't do it. And I just said that for the benefit of those that know that I put that frame back in there the wrong way. Lots of brood. Kind of a wonky pattern, but uh I feel like my camera is gonna go off at any minute. So I'm just trying to do this quick. And if it's the same queen, she was a real pretty one. She's also really famous for getting on the side when I'm checking the colony out. Yeah, I, don't, I haven't seen her. Maybe y'all did. Anybody watching this has got better eyes than I do right now because I really don't have any at the moment. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. And I think it's about to... Well, looky there. <clears throat> kind of looking like they just showed up, too. I believe.
believe they just showed up. <clears throat> We're going to let them get sassy for a couple of days. And then we'll come back. Cool deal. Let's go check the other one. Alright, just for a little clarity on why I'm not going to go ahead and get that box right now. And why I'm going to leave it there for a few days. Maybe about a week or so. Um, because I am kind of close to my house. I'm about six miles from the house. And I know that they probably more than likely wouldn't come back to that spot. But just on the off chance that they would. I'm going to go ahead and leave it out there a few days. Let them build some comb. And then, when they get some, as they start building comb, the queen will start laying eggs. Once she has some eggs and some brood in that collar, in that hive, uh, I can move it back to my house without any concern of them leaving and coming back over here, because that queen's not going to leave that, that the uh, the brood that she makes. So that's why I leave it. Just a little bit of added insurance, and I wanted to make sure you knew that in case you're you're watching this and you don't know anything about uh, catching swarms. Uh, that's just my personal preference. I know everybody does it different, but that's on me. So anyway We're gonna go check the other one Well, there's nothing here yet Not in this one I'll be back in a few days Hope y'all enjoyed the video Like and comment if you have any questions. Bye